Today we're going to break down former LSU quarterback TJ Finley, who is now in the transfer portal. We're going to break down the game against Arkansas, which is one of his best games of the 2020 season. And there have been several articles being released today and yesterday, kind of um, putting out the top schools that he is interested in. Several are SEC schools. There are reports saying that Auburn may be the favorite. So I'm not going to get into any of that because I have no idea what the hell is true and what's not. Uh, I'm just going to watch from afar. But what I do want to do is break down some film with TJ Finley and uh, the, the quarterback who starred the majority of the games for LSU last year and um, as a true freshman and played like a true freshman, right? Let's, let's remember, he's only a true freshman. He needs time to develop. Had a few rough games and a few really good games as well. The South Carolina and Arkansas games uh, were his better games. They, they won both those games. So we're going to watch the Arkansas game, and we're going to look at what he does well as a quarterback. And you're going to have a few kind of evident takeaways. Whenever the pocket is clean and, and kind of uh, crisp, if you will, he has room to step into his throws. He's a very good quarterback. He can really rip it and fit it into tight windows and tight spaces. He does not lead, need the defender to be uh, off the receiver very much, if at all. And he can fit those uh, tight uh, you can fit balls into those tight windows. So we're going to jump into the film here in a second. But before we do, I just want to plug our channel and encourage you to consider subscribing to this, our channel if you like any quarterback-related content. Well, it's the film breakdowns like this uh, where we look to see what quarterbacks do well and how they can improve. It's qu quarterback interviews we have coming up, how we assess quarterbacks in the weight room, whatever it may be. Any quarterback-related content is fair game. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the throws that TJ Finley made against Arkansas and look at what he brings to the quarterback room wherever he goes to his next school. So here's one of the best examples of Finley just being able to sit in the pocket and just rip it. We'll see a kind of a skinny seam slash maybe bang route, and Finley is able to throw just a rocket here to fit it. We'll watch just a few times to kind of get a good idea of it. Of it. Good ball there. It's a strike. We'll watch the behind the center, center angle as well. Let's watch this one more time. I think ball is out now, right in the hole. Um, again, a lot of uh, air raid style offenses uh, kind of have those type of uh, throw is there just thrown to the hole. Let's go ahead and speed up just a hair. Good ball there. Let's watch it one more time. Right over the backer. It's a smaller hole than it looks like to fit in. Good ball. Again, a another example, just sit in the pocket and just being able to rip it. Like when, when he's in the pocket and he has time, all he needs is a small space. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Watch him rip it to the right. Good ball there and tight coverage. Let's watch it again. He's looking off to the left, turns to the right, and throws a strike here. Good quick lick off. Backer can't get there in time. Good ball, good strike. One of my favorite throws by Finley here, again, in the pocket and just ripping it. He's going to throw it to his talented tight end, Gilbert, who split out here uh, right in the hash. He's running kind of just a little bang route slash inside seam here, and it's an absolute um, hell of a throw. Uh, good anticipation and just a good zip on the ball. Let's pause. We're going to pause it right before he throws it. He was throwing it now right into the zone. Backer's coming to here, even though the, uh, Gilbert's running behind him. There's a shot there. And notice he doesn't lead him over here where that other backer is, or the other DB is. Let's go and watch the uh, behind the end zone angle. <clears throat> so, again, he's not in a good position. Um, he's already at a disadvantaged position. Uh, so, good read by TJ Finley there. Right there. Good ball. We do that all day. So if a quarterback like Philly, this is a very easy throw. Um, <laughs> it's like taking candy for a baby almost. Just a simple fact, he has the arm strength to make this throw. It's the slot receiver here just stopping. Safety is off coverage here. And Philly throws a strike from the left hash to the other side of the field. And it usually is a, is a more challenging throw for uh, for quarterbacks to throw this length of the field. Uh, but Finley has a strong enough arm to do it and do it with relative ease. And again, just going to fit into a great offense that will let him just sit sit in, sit in, the, in the pocket and just rip it. Let's go ahead and watch it here. Boom, the ball is coming out. Oop, my fault. Let's watch that one more time. I can see kind of full speed. Ball's out. Good strike. The ball just pops out of his hands. It's a good ball. Let's go ahead and watch the end zone angle as well. I won't pause it. We'll just let it play through. Good ball. Another good long throw here. It's going to be the bottom uh, of the, the receiver in the bottom of the screen. Notice the DB is off coverage about six or seven yards. He just stops, comes back, and the uh, second level defenders all take like a step up so Finley's able to fit it over their heads. So let's go ahead and watch. It's a really good throw. Makes it look easy, 
Better do a really good throw. Good job. Let's watch it one more time. And we're going to need to watch. Let's watch it one more time, actually. Watch all these backers here, the second level defenders. Way too late to get back. Good job by Finley. Here's our third down. TJ Finley, again, notice him just sit in the pocket, delivers just an easy out, but it turns out to be a big time play because the receiver breaks a tackle and he takes a hit. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this here. You might want to, you might, he might want to throw the ball a little quicker, uh, but still, this nitpicking there, that's a good throw. Ends up being a first down. Again, whenever he's, whenever he can just sit in the pocket, pocket and throw with darts is when he's at his best. We'll watch him take a hit. Takes a hit, delivers the throw. Let's go one more time. Delay blitz comes in, hit, throw. Again, in the pocket, able to deliver a dart. Good job by Terrace Marshall getting the first down. So here's an example of TJ Finley in the pocket and able to buy a little bit of time. Eyes downfield, there's a good ball. We'll go ahead and watch this. But just as a good, it's a good example of showing um, his comfortableness in the pocket and final strike. Good ball, let's go ahead and do that again. Eyes downfield, sees the crosser down. Good ball by TJ Finley. Just imagine that in an offense that just uh, kind of catches it and rips it. Um, again, big time arm. Let's watch this one more time in the pocket. Eyes downfield the whole time. Buys time, buys time. She's a strike here. Good ball. So here's another example of Finley just sitting in the pocket and, and having that quick release and showing that strong arm. Just imagine him in a kind of air raid style offense, if you will, um, as this is kind of a similar tendency and a similar scheme that air raid uh, offenses run, at least this play here. Um, so we'll go ahead and watch this play. Very simple, uh, but just another example of um, him being able to do that. It's just in the pocket, sits in the hole. I think it ends up being a first down. Let's watch it one more time. But again, this translates very, very well to just an offense that just kind of throws it all over the field. Good job there. So here's a play by Finley showcasing his ability to throw on the run. Very quick release, too, you see, and able to uh, complete a good pass. He's going to roll out here. We'll watch this a few times and kind of check this out. Good ball there. Let's watch it again. It would roll out, eyes downfield. Watch this quick release. Ball's out. And then we watch this behind the center angle. I think we'll really be able to see the, uh, the, the quick release that TJ Finley has. You'll see how quickly the ball gets there, even though it is the same say, a same side of the field throw. Nice not field. Ball is out. Gets there quick. Good ball. So whoever is getting TJ Finley is getting a quarterback that can rip it from the pocket and can fit it into tight windows and can create it can really throw his receivers open when needed to a lot of zip on the ball ball comes out of his hands very uh, quickly so i'm excited to see where he goes especially if he stays in the sec i think he's going to make a team better regardless if he starts this year or down the road um there's a lot of talent there and if he's if he finds the right system and the right system finds him uh, it could be a really uh, successful kind of pairing down the road so we'll sit back and see where he ends up but again one of the best quarterbacks if not the best quarterback in the transfer portal right now and we will continue to watch to see where he goes let me know below if you think he's the best quarterback in transfer portal where you think he'll go and kind of your takeaways from him uh, watching film and we'll see you next time in our next quarterback related video